Hey YouTube, it's Oakland's Gym Bodybuilding here. Alright guys, in this video I'm going to explain to you all on how you guys can build a greater physique by incorporating some of these exercises and using some of these tips. First we're going to start off with calves. And just for future reference, I got these. I'm doing research and I'm test these on myself. I want to make this note that my basically new office got a file cabinet, I have a desk, a weights are in the garage. So I'm just going to use for demonstration with just mainly body weight. So, for calves. Most people when they do calves, they like doing standing calf raise machines. We'll just look at cold here. Standing calf raise machines, seated calf raise machine, leg press, or calf presses on leg press machines, and hack squat calf raises. Sure, the exercises are great to use. Like, I'll even use them. But you know, sometimes when you're at home, you know, or you're out of town and you're, you wanna, and you just say it's calf day, because some people, like I once had a calf day, just been on calves. They would hit calves. Well, you know, most people they should have at least a set of dumbbells and a barbell. And like, even if you don't have like a power rack to, to do standing calf raises, which I'm gonna get to that in a minute. So when doing standing calf raises, I like to do a bottle one because it's easier. You can load a lot more weight, and it really helps you get balanced. Like if you're on a machine, say you're on the machine, got your hands up against a little thing, or you know your balance and stuff. You're just doing that easier. But now try having your hands on the barbell, controlling the weight. And stay in balance. It's a whole lot harder now. Now, most people will say you're better off with machines doing higher reps. That's true. Using higher reps will get your calves shaped. But now you want to get them sized now. Now, for size, it's not that hard. You know, you want to stick to a little bit of a smaller rep range. Like most people when I'm in the gym, I see them doing 20, 30, and sometimes 50 do 100 reps for calves. I don't find it's necessary to go that high, you know, what I recommend is doing 10 to 15 reps, and even worse, I see them doing like two or three sets, no, you don't need to do two or three sets, you want to, you know, you, you want to choose that exercise, choose one exercise for your calves, hit five to six sets. 10 to 15 reps because that's heavy enough and you should be hitting fairly around 15 and now most people they're like they like to use them different exercises and hit different angles well then you choose that one exercise you want to do you can hit angles have your feet outward have them neutral have them inward and you know or and do one or do one calf at a time you, there's a lot of things you can do to make adjustments for that exercise. You don't just gotta do multiple exercises. So hit five to six reps of standing, I mean five to six sets of standing calf raises around 10 to 15 reps. And I believe doing calves every other day. Right? Because, you know, they're that muscle group where you can work a lot more. Now, for abs. I normally do two ab routines. That, that, I'm, that I really stick with. There's different. Sometimes I'll do one. Sometimes I'll do the other. I believe. So you got the D. Which is my favorite? The decline setup. Now they help. Sorry, I'm just doing this for video purposes. Declines build the lower part of your abs, the upper part. It'll help develop. Definitely get that midsection hits the oblique, and it really hits your core. I like to do about two to three sets of 25 reps, and sometimes I'll just go for four sets, hit that 100 reps, and you know your abs are toasted. Then I like to do some lying leg raises. Oh boy, those are a killer to do. Lying leg raises are great to build your lower abs, and there's a modified version and a more advanced version. Well, they're for now, they're actually called leg raises, because lying down is the modification. You lay down with your hands under your hips and you just bring them up, keep your abs contracted and come down slow. Come around one or two inches to the ground and come back up. 
It really helps. This will really build your abs, your lower abs. And you know, 25 reps. And you want to mock, you want if you if that's too easy for you know you make it a little bit harder and do some hanging from a barbell. I mean hanging from a pull up bar, chin up bar, and lifting your legs straight out and adding weight to it. Always make things harder, guys. If it's too easy, then you know we hit our we mainly hit our full abs already. You know you hit the lower abs a little bit more. Do some cable crunches now. Cable crunches. I've never really been much of a fan of them, but I know they work, so that's why I do them. Cable crunches, I go, I definitely decrease the reps by a little bit. I do about 10 to 15 reps at two or three sets, you know, to really get that ab, get the really abs to have that bulk in them. Because it's good to have big abs, you know, you want them to look like blocks, so you want to use weights. But if you just did chin ups for your biceps, your biceps, sure they'll get cut and stuff, but they won't be as big as if you were doing heavier weight with a little bit lower reps. You know, and it's okay to use that for abs. I do. Now you got some V ups. Now most there's a modified version of V ups and a more advanced version. I'm gonna give you all the modification. This is a modification, which is actually really easy. Now you also have your harder version. It's a whole lot harder to do that way. And as you get better at doing them, you will be able to do more reps. It, you know, it's good to hit about a good 25 reps. And then you have, I do a little bit of a burnout. Elevated crunches. You can do this on a. It's better to do them on a medicine ball. For me, I would probably end up doing that on so you have like a chair, or something. something where you know, it's like this. Burn up. Oh, something where you can get your back and you can crunch up and contract your abs. It's good to do about two or three sets of 50 reps on there. You definitely get them abs up. Then, the next exercise I do are planks. You know, see, but like, well, planks, all they do is strengthen your core. What does that do? You're not defining it. Hold on. And actually, planks, <coughs> they make your abs stronger, and they help for the bigger lifts, like squat, bench, and deadlifts. So, you know, most, if a modified version would be, say, in a push-up stand, Hold your abs. But more advanced would be like this. And just hold for as long as possible. Yeah. Try to hit around one to two minutes. Two minutes maximum. But you can definitely hit. If you can hit two minutes, no problem. Try to get someone to add like a weight plate, like a 45 pound weight plate. And hold on for as long as possible. Now, we all have. Now this one, everyone loves this biceps. Who doesn't like building their biceps? Biceps are one of the smaller muscle group that really, you know, you can easily isolate them. At the same time, you can add extra stuff. Most people are familiar with the barbell curl. And, but a lot of times I see people do this. They bring their shoulders in. And there's ways to definitely isolate, like put your arms on a preacher bench and curl. You got your concentration, but that's for a dumbbell. Now, people are like, some people can't, don't have preacher curl benches. And don't have, aren't able to make it to the gym. Well, that's no problem. A way that I find to help, get your elbows tucked in. Keep your elbows tucked in at all times. And curl the weight up, all the way down. All the way up, all the way down. You may, you're gonna have to use a lot lighter weight because you're not gonna be used to swinging it back, you know? Tucked in, swing up, and then curl up, curl down. Curl up, curl down. You know, that will really hit that bicep peak for isolation. You know, 
since it's a b lower body group, I recommend definitely doing around three to four sets of that with anywhere around six to twelve reps. Now, the last one we're going to talk about in this video, which there will be more on how to build how to build your future body. Tips to build fu your future body. Ask the grass squats. Now, I'm going to tell you the difference between a regular squat and an ass to grass squat. This is a regular squat. You know, you got your barbell. You're mainly putting your attention on the knees and the quads. Now, when you're doing ass to grass squats, you come all the way down. And you'll feel it in your glutes, your calves, your hamstrings, your abs, your basically every, your lower body completely. Building up your lower body is definitely important. And doing acid grass squats is really a good way to warm the entire lower body up and a good way to definitely get the size and strength on it. I'm sure nobody loves working out legs. I don't really like working out legs that much, but you gotta do it. For me, for for anything lower, like for lifts like the squat, I definitely hit around five to six sets. Now, hold on, we just said biceps to three to four sets. Why? Because they're a lower bi biceps or less of a lower body. But wait a minute, we talk, we just say calves, and that's sure that's a little bit less than that's a lot less than the bicep. But you know, in bicep you do a lot more. So you're going to do a couple more exercises added to it. And then for calf raise, if you just do one calf, five to six sets, ten to fifteen, you'll be set for calf. But biceps, most people like to do incorporate a couple more. And, you know, if you're added with back, you know, you really only don't need to add the, through that much volume to it. But for legs, I definitely hit around anywhere from four reps to twenty reps. Why? Because doing heavyweight and but smashing it with a lot of reps that's hard and sometimes I use a rest pause deal rest pause sometimes what I try to do is when I do a rest I do a rest pause period which I'll make a video all about that where I'll rest pause at different reps you know depending on the set and on time so those are really those are some tips to help bring to help build the body you want. You know we're still in winter time. It's January, March, April, May. You know five months till May, so we got to start sculpting that body. The one, see my thing during the winter time is when you really get that body developed and more and cut. And in the summertime, you know you're smashing heavy weight, trying to bulk up. During the winter time, you cut down. So when summer comes, you know, you're set. So, you know, biceps, they come with work. Abs come with dieting, actually. So you really want to, with abs, you definitely want to focus in the kitchen more. So I guarantee you, you can do a thousand of these. You can do abs every other day. Be committed, hit that weight, you know. You could do about almost, you probably do a million reps. Every well not every day because you would definitely do a million reps of abs each session, and your abs won't be there. Now if you do weighted, they will be more visible. But you know you want to get that lower body fat percentage because you know I believe it's like 10 to 11. I think no more than 12 percent. If you have more than 12 percent, you will not be able to see your abs. If you have less, yeah, your abs. I'm trying to right now get down to six to five percent body fat, so I'm gonna start doing a lot of cutting on it to definitely do whatever I can to help build that physique to get me a lot more cut for summertime. So summertime, I want my abs to be bulked up, just to be I can walk around, you know, get them pecs, got them biceps and triceps, you know, really be developed for summertime and be like, wow, that dude works hard, you know, no roids. I might start getting into protein, just I'm poor as fuck, so I can't really, don't really have that much time, uh, not that much money to be able to go buy that protein stuff like we all want. But, you know, 
if you can't get protein, go ahead, do that. Like, I'm all natural, you know, guys, get my regular protein and stuff, but, yeah. I'll get, like, a muscle milk on occasions, you know, just really depending on what my money is. Alright, guys, I'm actually about to go do some stretching to stretch my body out. And I'm going to see you guys later. Like, comment, subscribe, send me any messages, you know, guys, tell me how you like, if you guys are liking my videos, I really appreciate it, I already got, like, a couple of people telling me how much they like it, and I had someone talk to me about having me a question, which I will make a video about that, actually. Alright, guys, Oakland's Gym, bodybuilding out.